Over 50 years ago, my dad began his career on the Bassmasters Tour, and that's where this story begins. 19 tournament wins, nine angler of the years, but the one that eluded him, the Bassmasters Classic. In 2020, I fished a Bassmaster Open Trail with one simple goal, qualify for the elites. It was a hard fought battle. Many ups, many downs. It came down to the last tournament. It came down to the last cast. Now that I've made the Bassmaster Elite Series, the goals are simple. To win a Bassmaster Elite event and get one of the blue trophies. Fight and claw to win an Angler of the Year title. And the ultimate goal to win the Bassmasters Classic Trophy, a title that eluded my father for over 50 years. I want to bring that home and finish the legacy. This is Unfinished Family Business. Good morning. Good morning. How was that intro? That intro gives me chills. Yes, it does. Because we are here. This is this is Waddington, New York, guys. And uh, let me just bring it in real quick. Let me bring it in for you. Thank you to everyone that has been supporting this channel on this journey this year. Okay. We are at the final event of the Bassmaster Elite season. There's a lot on the line here. Um, a lot of goals that I haven't accomplished yet. I need to win one to make the Bassmasters Classic. Those are the two goals at hand. Those goals are still alive. So, practice, if you watch practice, practice was a little, I've got a plan, but it's a little squirrely. That being said, today we had to put that puzzle together. We had to put those pieces together. So you're gonna come in the boat with me, literally in the boat with me. You're gonna watch everything, the ups, the downs, the excitement, everything in between, guys. This is it. Matt's gotta catch them, I've gotta catch them, Canterbury's gotta catch them. We've gotta catch them, guys. We're here in Waddington, New York. Bassmaster Elite, this is where the rubber meets the road. The final push of the 2021 season. Start training. it like after 20 years of doing this you know I've had I've had I've, I've been at the top of the top winning championships and I've had not so great tournaments and and they all start just like this they all start with those butterflies they all start with that anticipation you know here's here's what I love about tournament fishing and this is where this is basically I'm breaking down for you where the passion comes from for me and I think for everybody it's that process right it's that puzzle it's that game plan Every day I've been formulating a game plan on where I'm going to fish, where I'm going to I can't fish it all at the same time. You have to make moves. It's like a chess match. It's like the most advanced, complicated chess match ever. This chess match is on the St. Lawrence River. So, at the end of the day, it's always just about the weight, right? Right, dude. This is, this is what we've all been fishing for. I mean, you and I are both in the same boat right now literally different boats but same boat <laughs> but we 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 this is where this is where it all goes down man all year long fun fighting trying to catch every single fish we can catch dude and you know for me fighting has been the perfect way to describe this season yeah because i've literally fought and clawed just to be sitting on the cut line literally i'm 39th with our point tally like, I'm, I'm, I'm the bubble boy, and I've never been the bubble boy in a championship yeah. situation before. I've either been well in or well out. And uh, yeah, Canterbury, Canterbury, interesting storyline. So for, for this tournament, you guys are going to follow along. And by the way, if you notice that Matt and Scott weren't at the house this week, had to all kind of find our own places to stay because it was such a mess. There was literally nothing. I had a camper reserved, and I was going to keep the camper at the house that we reserved. 
and I was going to sleep in a camper outside, and the lady literally sold the house like two weeks before the tournament. Two weeks. She calls and says, hey, the house is not available anymore. So we're scrambling. Like, So we got a house, and Matt and them jumped in with Jay, and it kind of worked out. But, man, what a, what a fiasco here. But Waddington, I mean, this place is pretty cool. It's a small little town, but they love bass fishing, that's for sure. It's going to be a hell of a weigh-in today, man. It's going to be awesome with the amount of people that are going to come. It's going to be good stuff. You know how you know if you've caught a bunch of smallmouth this week? Now they're not big, but when you got smallmouth poop oh, yeah. on your handle of your rod. Ooh, how many of them things you got left? About three packs. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I mean, the way you caught them and the way everybody else is catching them. I just wish I had more like, like he, Welcher's catching them. Like people are smashing them. A lot of we're a few minutes away from the one variable from that is a little bit of a complicated variable is that Lake Ontario, which is 90 miles from here, has giants in it. When the wind blows, you can't fish there. When the wind doesn't blow, you can fish there. If you watch the practice video, I caught a couple of big ones out there today. I'm not going to run out there today, even though I should, but if I can make the top 50, I'll go there Saturday, Sunday for sure. And we'll see what happens. But I've got to catch him. Matt's got to catch him, obviously, for the classic. Canterbury, he's got to win, and he's going for the win. He's running the lake. It's going to be an awesome thing to watch. So I cannot wait to see this footage today. Give me some space. It's about to go down. Cover your ears. It's about to get loud. It's getting loud. Please get it, baby. God, one came up on it, dude. Canberra just went by, he's going to the lake. His plan was to stay here if he caught him, go to the lake if he didn't. So he fished for 45 minutes to an hour, didn't catch any. And he's gone, so I'm hoping he jacks up a big bag. All right. Now, I don't have a bite yet. First, first drift was no good. Second drift, they're there, dude, but they're just like chasing my bait and crap. I can see them on the graph. There's some big ones in there, but I saw them with the camera yesterday, and I've seen them come up on my bait. I've seen them on the graph. They're just not biting. So I think a lot of it is just timing. You know, you make a drift through here later on in the afternoon and it's boom, boom, boom. When they decide to eat, then they want to eat. You know what I mean? So they're there and there's big ones here. I only need to catch five of these big square ones. With five square ones, we're in good shape. Let's go find our first square one. stay on. Dang, I can't get him 
up, dude. I can't tell if he's big or not, dude. He's just dogging me. He's not that big. No, he's little. It's like a little bear Mundy. He's a small little dude. But we got him in the boat. Small one. Small one. Real small. Two pounds. Thing fought me like crazy, dude. For a pound and a half. Nah, he's two pounds. better not great okay get him a vent but eventually oh my gosh there's the little little dudes Okay, a little better, two pounder, two pounder, biting funny dude. All right, so we're drifting, that's a, that's a way to catch them here. It doesn't look like we're moving, it looks like we're sitting still, but I'm actually drifting at a mile and a half an hour, 1.5 miles an hour. And get this drop shot, and I'm just dragging it along the bottom, that drop shot's going by all the targets. And those fish see it, they can see it from far away and they'll run over and grab it. You know, the thing is you just, you don't know what you're going to catch. I mean, you catch four pounders, you catch two pounders, you catch drum, you just catch all. It, it's, it's, uh, it's a way to catch a good limit. If you get enough drifts, you can, you know, obviously win the tournament, but there's some fish right there. There's more fish right on exactly where we got bit. We should get bit. Get ready, dude. There he is. Biggin'. I always say biggin'. They all feel big. I think he's pretty big, dude. The head shakes are big. I know that. Golly, man, these things fight so hard, dude. Oh yeah, big one, real big one, dude. There we go. That's a tank, dude. All right, very important fish right there. Thank you, Lord. That's a big one right there, dude. That's a big one, four and a half. That's a four, I, Four and a half, big.
think you'll help. Whoa, D9 will help if he goes back in the lake. Thirteen. We're basically halfway through. We've got about 14 pounds and we got plenty of room to call. I'm up here shallow trying to catch a big one real quick on a chatterbait. Just caught like a 213, which helped about half a pound. I had a two and a quarter in there. But uh, I'm gonna go back out here in a minute and drag around. I think most of the biggest ones are out deep. There's not a ton of fish up shallow. It doesn't seem like, well, it seems like there's a decent amount, but there's two and a half pounders. But there are, you know, you can catch a five up here shallow too. So we're sitting on 14 pounds halfway through the day, and I'm gonna. I need two four. I need two big bites. What I need, two big bites, get me up to 18 or 19. Stay on, baby. Stay on. 
today on we got time to make this happen. If I can land. Stay on, baby. Stay on. He's not as big as us. Been working out. Yeah. We just made a long run to a school of fish that I found. I'm hoping they're here. I saw some fish on the graph. I don't know what they were, but I definitely saw a bunch of fish on the graph. Looks like a big one, dude. Please stay on. I don't think he's big. They're there. That's the important part. Why is this thing tripping, dude? I don't think he's big. I don't think he's big, but there's a fifth, there's a hundred of them there. That's all fish. There's 50 of them here, dude. Just gotta get the big ones to bite. They're laying there exactly where they were the other day. They're laying right there. They're everywhere in there, dude. Oh my God. here dude i just gotta get a more big one of these big ones wow i caught two big ones here so they're here there's big ones here is it in there is there in your foot it might be that hurts really bad here i'm gonna pull it out no it wasn't it. Oh. dude that could have been really bad you okay Big one. Uh, please stay on, Lick. Please, that's a big one for sure. Oh my gosh! What? Dang it, dude! Dude, that 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 right there. Why, dude? That was a big one. His head was going, whoa, whoa, whoa.
don't think he's going to help me. I don't think. I don't think that helps me. I think everything I got is about the same. One more day, one more day to figure out how to catch uh, enough. That's all, it's all that matters, it's just enough. I, I don't even, I have no words. I mean, I'm glad I got what I got, to be honest with you. It's, it's super sketchy out there right now. You know, here's the deal, you're gonna look at the weights and you're gonna see some big giant bags. And those are the guys that went to the lake. There's gonna be some guys that went to the lake that caught mid 20s. The problem is, it's just super risky. I don't know much about it, blah, 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 blah. So. You know, the river tournament itself, I mean, there's going to be guys that obviously caught them in the river too, but in, in a way, it's almost like two different tournaments. It's like, it's like all the people in the lake versus all the people in the river. Two-time FLW winner from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. Five fish for Matt Airy here today. Five fish here on day number one. 15 pounds even, puts him in 29th place currently, and uh, going to get another shot at him tomorrow. And it seemed like a lot of guys kind of for... St. Lawrence River standards, it, it, believe it or not, it seemed like a little, it, this far in the way, it seemed, it's been a little tougher than some expected. Yeah, honestly, this is probably the worst three days of practice I've had, and, and the tournament showed it day one, but I just kept practicing today, and, and for some reason, everywhere I go, I can catch shallow deep in between, I just catch three pounders. And uh, I literally had a limit of, they all were between 215 and 31 today. I weighed all of them, and uh, I just, I hooked one big fish a day and lost it at the boat, but um, I've got my work cut out for me. I was on the bubble coming in for the Classic, and, uh, you know, tomorrow when I go out, I'm going to have to sack them up to uh, make sure we're in that classic next year. We'll get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Well, day two, day one, excuse me, I can't remember what day it is. And we uh, we hit the struggle bus today. We had 15 pounds. It's not good on the St. Lawrence River. Um, got a lot of work to do tomorrow. I'm just hoping I can run into a couple big ones tomorrow because I'm probably going to need to catch. 18 you know to get back in this classic cut the way i figure it right now i'm probably two or three places out so uh i've got my work cut out for me needless to say and uh i'll go out tomorrow and see if we can't wrangle up 18 or 19 pounds yeah, they live here a nine-time bassmaster classic qualifier from gainesville florida bernie schultz <laughs> bernie schultz with five fish here today looks like a big day needs 23 pounds eight ounces to break our tie. Looking for 23 pounds, 8 ounces. 25 pounds, 5 ounces! 25, 5! And Bernie Schultz is your brand new leader with 25 pounds and 5 ounces. A seven-time FLW Tour winner, a former Forest Wood Cup champion from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Merton. Five fish for Scott Martin here today. 13 pounds, two ounces. He moves into 43rd place. And uh, Scott, unfortunately, tomorrow is going to be a stressful day for you. I, yeah, it really is. You know, this whole this whole season's been a roller coaster. It's been up and down. We've had some good tournaments. We've had some tough ones. This northern swing, I was really looking forward to it on the schedule. Obviously, Champlain and never fished here before. But you know, I love catching smallmouth. But they've been a little stingy on me the last couple of weeks. So. You know, it's uh, things are changing. I'm gonna keep adjusting, 
I'll, if I run into them, I'll catch I'll catch what I need. You know, I don't know what I need to, to make the classic, but I'm going to fish my guts out tomorrow. I'm going to fish hard. I'm going to pray hard. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my wife and everybody at home praying like crazy. My daughter's here. So we got a lot of work to do tomorrow, but I'm looking forward to it. It's great to have you here. Go get it done tomorrow. I don't know. At the end of the day, you just got to go out and catch everything I can catch tomorrow. You know? We've got one day. We're down to last, last, last chance right here. So, you know, I don't know what I could have done different. I'm, I got a lot of thinking to do tonight. I got a lot of looking at the map, a lot of game plan, a lot of praying, a lot of just, just, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. That's all you can do, guys. Try to get five good ones in the boat and see what happens. A former Forest Wood Cup champion from Alabama, Justin Atkins. Five all alive. 21 pounds, six ounces. And Justin Atkins moves into seventh place currently with 21 pounds and six ounces. We got a pound and a half in there, though. <laughs> You caught a two-pounder down here this morning, and it's 30-foot deep, and I didn't want to take it on a 100-mile ride. I just threw it back. Dude, I didn't catch see them going. I just random cast and caught. I got lucky as there. I only caught six. What's on that other spot, though? What is sand. It? It's like sand and grass. There's some rock, isolated rock. But I've never seen one swimming or nothing. How deep is it? 14. 14. Huh? Pretty. Pretty. The 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. I fished for Scott Canterbury here today. Two-time FLW Tour winner. 18 pounds, 8 ounces. He moves into 20th place currently with 18 pounds, 8 ounces. 18-8, uh, a decent day, and puts you in 20th place, which if it, this morning I said 18-8, you might not think that will put you in 20th place at this point in the way, and so doing pretty good. I didn't think so either. You know, I started up here on this pool, and uh, I caught, I made four or five drifts, and the last drift I caught a two-pounder. I made 30 foot of water, and I said, I'm going to the lake. It's 100 miles, so I threw it back, and I ended up weighing a pound and a half in. I thought I was going to come in with four for a long time, but... Uh, you know, it's been a fun week. This is probably the best uh, smallmouth fishery in the country. I mean, it's just got giants in it. It's a special place. And, uh, you know, the crowd always shows out up here. I love this, love coming up here. Hopefully, I can go out tomorrow and catch some, catch a few more big ones. I need to catch five of those big ones. I mean, I'm like making a big gamble, but uh, maybe we can make it pay off. Go get them tomorrow. We'll see you back here. You know, uh, we made a big gamble. I fished up here for an hour, wasted an hour. I made a 100 mile run to the lake. Uh, Caught four good ones, ended up bringing a pound and a half in. That really hurts, but I uh, had 18 to 8. If I'd have caught five good ones, you know, I'd have had well over 20. So, uh, you know, not getting a lot of bites, but we got to go back out there tomorrow. So, uh, looking forward to it. Just got to look at this weather and see what it's going to do. And hopefully, you know, we can make that run tomorrow and make it pay off. Well, good morning. Good morning. Let's see here. Let's hang out for a minute and talk. Can I tell you where we're at, where we're at with everything? I didn't sleep last night. That's a fact. Uh, you, when you put so much effort into something and, and things kind of go in a different direction, it, it hurts. You know, it, it really hurts because I know for a fact I'm not. This doesn't define me, right? This having a, a bad tournament or two bad tournaments or whatever it may be doesn't define me as a fisherman um been doing this a long time i've had ups and i've had downs i've had i've been at the top and i've been at the bottom um it's just bad timing right and 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 you say to yourself like well why is this happening and for me it's 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 not from a lack of trying it's not from a lack of focus i don't know what it is it's like it's like my I, i'm fishing I'm, I'm fishing not scared but too cautious I'm at my best when I know that I can go out and, 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 and do something and win. When I fish to win is when I do well. When I fish conservative and try to make a check and try to save some points is when things get squirrely. I'm not a check fisherman. I'm not a uh, let's just get by fisherman. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 
try to win this tournament guy. And I think that's my biggest problem. If I if I could go back and look at, at how this has transpired for this tournament and the at Champlain, Champlain is in a different category because I lost the fish at Champlain to have a good tournament. But here, I, I, I found, I mean, you, you'll see in the video, you'll see in the practice, you'll see in the 2020 with, with what, with what I found, and then just it's just kind of yeah you'll have to wait for that video. But that being said, I do want to apologize, guys, and 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 I do want to say this huge, huge part of my um, pain is that you guys are supporting me. You guys support me, and I and and I appreciate that very much. I, I know you support me through the ups and the downs, and right now we we just got to figure out a way to catch a good bag today. You know, at the end of the day. Let's figure out a way to catch the biggest bag that we can possibly catch today, and and uh, and make the Bassmasters Classic. You know, and if it doesn't happen this year, uh, it's not again from the lack of trying. We'll give it another shot. You know, that's all we can do. You know, this is literally the last day of the season for me, right here. We have overcast conditions today, which makes it a little tough to sight fish. And when I say sight fish, I mean just cruising around looking for them. So in practice, and if you watched the video, you saw that I found those fish on those sand flats. And that's a way to really do well in these tournaments. So I don't I don't know why I didn't go to them yesterday. It was a little too far, I thought. I thought I could catch them, but, but whatever. Um, I think that's how a lot of the guys are catching them. You know, word on the streets, a lot of guys. I mean, the Chris Johnson brothers are the... The Johnson brothers always catch them shallow like that anyways. So, you know, we're going to do a little bit of that today. We're going to fish a few uh, deep spots. You know, at the end of the day, if I can get 17, 18 pounds, um, it'll be just fine. So, I'm going to go do it. I, I don't want to go to the lake only because I haven't caught them really in the lake. I caught a few out there and Canterbury's on those and I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it could, you could easily go out there and literally not catch them. I don't know what to do. Um, it's gotta be some sort of finish. I don't know. Okay. Like a, Here we go. Okay, we'll or go like, like, we'll like, like, like this. this. Like this. this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to go like that. You have to be a little. <laughs> Here we go like this. 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 Fish flapping. Yeah. Yes, fish flapping. Ready? Boom. 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 I like that. That's yeah. good. Ready? Yeah. One more time. Okay. Boom. 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 Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. All right, dude. Okay. Hey. We got a job to do. Yes, we, we gotta do. finish it. Yes, we do. Uh, right. Jack him up, buddy. You too. Get him up. Be safe. He's a seven-time FLW Tour winner from Clewiston, Florida. Scott Harton. Good luck, Scott. Go get him today, bro. Go caving day, bro. seen it yet so I don't know. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, close to two and a half. No, he's a little two pounder. Two pounder. Okay. Finally, little. 
Maybe not, no. Can't tell. Do it off. How in the heck? Wasn't that big. But they're biting in places they didn't bite yesterday, which is pretty good. A little, a little dude. He fought like a four, but he only ended up being two. <laughs> I mean, dude, that's crazy, right? Make something happen here. I need to catch three and a half and fours, dude. These two pounders aren't gonna do me any good. It's the first one I've caught on that in two days. That's good. That that tells me a lot, actually. It tells me I might be able to dangle that. Dangle that and get one to bite it. Dangle, dangle. Oh, please get it. Please get it. Big ones though. Oh, look at that. They're eating. Chunk down his throat. Is that four? He's got me in at like eight and a half pounds. Oh gosh. Do they eat this thing?
That's a two pounder. We gotta go where the biggins live, dude. They're biting. We gotta go. Catching two pounders is doing nothing. I mean, it makes me feel good because I'm I'm getting dialed in. But they're not. It's not helping me, dude. And there's not biggins here. I mean, I'd have caught one. The way they're biting. Dude, that's awesome. I hope you're getting that. It's freaking cool. a little pound and a half one fourteen two three two eight There's like, there's a bunch there, dude. Please, dude, what is this fish? I mean, I don't even know. I really don't know how big he is. He's a good, he's my best one. Like a six pound line, dude. I just don't want to. Oh yeah, no, no, dude. He's like a three pounder, dude. Not even a three, not even a three. He's a three. Two eight. Okay. There's big ones here. I promise you there's big ones here. Here they come. Here they come. See that? Yep. Is that cool or what, dude? This one's two seven. Two seven.
I mean, you, I mean, you never know. It's sometimes you just need ounces. Looks like a great pounder. Get some chunk. If it was me, I'd still weigh it. I'm going. <laughs> it's not good. This thing is very big. Maybe you said the last one. I can't wait until you say you got a good one. Look at them all out there. They're right there in that little eddy. Look at him coming up. Those are smallmouth. See how he's coming up? Came up on it and rised up on it. I think somebody's been pounding on them, man. They're acting, they're acting really, really skittish. But you could tell that was a small because he rose up on it. He saw it coming. Drum don't rise up on anything. All right, dude. Right. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you see him? He came up and hit it, dude. How'd I miss him? Dude, he's right here. Oh, there's a white, there's a, clear, uh, a light one and a dark one. The light one just came up and nosed it. The dark one's right here. Where is that fish? I can see that dark one good when I see him. There's one right there. What's this fish doing? It's a light colored one right here. I saw him. It's a good one, dude. It's four pounder. Four, four and a half. I, I caught two of them out of here. The only two that I got to bite, and I only fooled them for a minute. Both of them are four and a half. Here he comes. Got him. Got him, dude. It's a giant, bro. Don't hit the boat. It's a giant.
There's another one swimming in the water right here. Look at this one in the water. There's another big one right there. not as big as I thought. There's one right there, see him swimming right beside the boat? God dang dude, please quit doing this. Okay. That helps. There's another big one right here, dude. I think we're gonna crack them in here. Okay. We're gonna crack them in here. Three pounds. Based on what I just saw, it means nobody's full with these fish. And I haven't gotten to where the best part of them was. That was awesome, dude. Man, I thought that was gonna be like a four and a half. Those black ones look so big. See, she's all over it. She's all over it on the bottom. God, she wanted to bite it, dude. That's a big one. Oh, that's a real, oh my gosh, it was a five pounder. Oh my God, why? Did you see that fish, dude? What the, why? Bro, it was a five pounder. My whole season has been like this. I'm gonna throw up, dude. Got it. Maybe it's her. I think it's her, dude. I think it's her. It is her, it is her. Oh my gosh, please stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Oh, please. Oh God. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. It's a four and a half, five, dude. There's two of them with him. There's a bigger one there with him. I bet that's the other one. I bet the, I bet, look at that big one that's there beside this one. Th that one was like a six pounder, dude. I'm telling you. Get out of the grass. Don't get in the grass, dude. What are you doing? Don't do this. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. 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 Dude, I can make the classic right here, bro. That's not the one. The black one was the one that jumped. It was a five-pounder. I promise you. It was jet black, dude. Four-one. Dude, that was a, a unbelievable fish. Dude. All right, let's catch another one, dude. Down to last cast right here, dude. That's it, right there, last cast. Got him. Another one with him. <sighs> Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Get this fish in. Oh my gosh, where is he? Where is he? Oh my God! Jew, you gotta be kidding me! Why? This is just sucks, man. Unbelievable, dude. 
I literally want to cry, dude. Here's the 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. At 18.8 as of this morning. Five fish to add to that here today. 20 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into fourth place with 39 pounds and 2 ounces. 39.2 and sitting in fourth place at the halfway point. Nice stop with the Bassmaster Elite Series. 20 pounds, 10 ounces to put you all the way into fourth place. So a much better day today, or a bit better day. I mean, a good day yesterday as well. Yeah, yesterday I had a pound and a half in that bag. So, I mean, that was a, I had some bigger fish yesterday than I had today. But, man, it's awesome. I had my chances today. And I, I, it was like a horrific day out there this morning. I mean, I have two little fish in the live well, and I hook one. It's, like a five and a half pounder it jumps three times comes off then i break one off at the boat trying to get him like a four and a half but turned around and caught a few so uh it's fun man it's just a blast if you can get around them they're they're fun to catch they're exciting they're fun during practice when they do all that jumping stuff i don't like it when the money's on the line too much but uh you know hopefully we get out there tomorrow and catch some more of them guys this is awesome i look forward to seeing a big crowd tomorrow man we're excited uh hopefully we'll get out there and do it tomorrow this is the last tournament of the year so i'm looking forward to it See you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. takeoff. You know, day two went really good. Uh, I lost a few big fish today, so, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to getting back out there. Uh, you know, I made the cut, had a little over 20 today. It's exciting. Uh, hopefully I can make up some ground, catch, catch everything that bites and get some of those big bites tomorrow. But, uh, you know, this is an awesome place. Looking forward to getting out there on day three. I know you're going to get loud. He is your day one leader, a nine-time classic qualifier from Gainesville, Florida, Bernie Schultz. <laughs> At 25 pounds and five ounces yesterday, looking for 12 pounds, 12 ounces to take the lead. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Five all alive, 22 pounds, nine ounces. 22, nine. And with 47 pounds of 14 ounces, once again, Bernie Schultz is in the lead. And he is halfway to his first ever Elite Series victory and his 10th Bassmaster Classic qualification. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. A seven-time FLW Tour winner from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. 13 pounds, two ounces yesterday. Five fish here today for Scott Martin. He's 15.6 to get in the cut. 15 pounds, seven ounces. Inside the cut right now in 45th place with 28 pounds and nine ounces. And Scott, I mean, uh, th this fickle, fickle sport, man, everything you've accomplished. And uh, the last two were, uh, were honestly, on paper, everybody would be like, well, Scott Martin's up north now, look out. Ah, man, when you zig those fish, they'll get you. You know, it's, uh, I, I have to say, I've been doing this for 20 years, and the Lord's blessed me so much over my career. I've won the biggest tournaments out there, and I've, and I've finished last in a few along the way, but I've had a, a tough go the last two tournaments. And, uh, but you know what? I, I serve a God that's way bigger than that. And I just want to thank him right now, my Lord and Savior, for Jesus Christ, for giving me the fish I did catch because I worked really hard for him. I stayed focused. Today, you know, I got up this morning and I had a lot of anxiousness to it, you know, with the classic on the line. And, and for me, you know, when, and, and look, I'm iron on the bubble. There's other guys that are on the bubble, Matt Airy, my good buddy, and other guys. And they're all working just as hard as I am. And, and they're all feeling that pain and that anxiousness too. But, I literally get on my knees this morning and pray to God, just give me that good day on the water. Just allow me to catch fish, have make good decisions, and I did that. And uh, and so I left it all on the table. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm glad I caught what I did. I want to thank my wife for praying as much as she has, and my dad. I know he's really pulling for me, and it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a nerve-wracking deal, but you know what? I, I've had a blast this year on the, on the Bassmaster Tour. I'm so glad I'm over here with you guys. I want to say a huge thank you to all my fans and, of course, all my sponsors. Love you guys. We love having you here, and we sure hope it's enough to get in there. From Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, his
is a four-time Canadian Open champion, Corey Johnston. At 23 pounds, 7 ounces was in a two-way tie for second place with his brother. Five fish here today, 23-7 yesterday, five all alive, 22 pounds, two ounces, with 45 pounds, nine ounces, Corey Johnston moves into second place once again. A two-time FLW Tour winner, Hanafi Brian's made finish at the Bassmaster Classic from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. 15 pounds even as of this morning, five fish to add to that here today. He's 15-4 to get inside the cut currently. 17 pounds, two ounces inside the cut currently in 36th place. So Matt inside the cut right now, unfortunately there's bunch of anglers are going to have something to say about that so we'll see how it all shakes out you know regardless it's been a phenomenal year a lot of a lot of highs a lot of lows this year um and uh, of course classic you remind me of that every time we take off but like you said it was a blessing to be second at classic i know a lot of people love to be second at classic but uh it's a tough one to swallow obviously but uh you know it's it's the off season i'm uh i'd be lying if i said i'm not ready to sling some arrows at something here shortly so uh excited man thanks to all my family uh you know my wife my backbone my support uh she uh she keeps me. She keeps me positive. I was on the bubble for the classic coming in this tournament. I'm probably still going to be, you know, one or two places short. But she reminds me of the important things in life. And and you know, if we, we miss a classic, there's always 2022. Got a great family, and we sure hope to see you at the Bassmaster Classic. We'll find out how it all shakes out. All right. Well, we just wrapped up the season because we're not going to make the cut. I don't think uh, we had 32 pounds and some change. Um, you know. I, the end goal is to make the classic. I don't think we've accomplished that goal, unfortunately. But uh, you know, we're going to see see where everything lays out and uh, hope for the best. Fingers crossed. But if not, oh well. There's always 2022. So enjoyed the ride, and um, glad you guys had a good time following along. I'm sure you did with all this, all these maniacs behind the camera, all these goofballs. But uh, but anyway, we'll see you on 2022. Gentlemen, we have one angler left to weigh in here today. And this journey started on the St. John's River several months ago. This is a lifetime dream that we could see come true right here. So I need you to get very, very loud. He is a two-time Bassmaster winner, a four-time yeah. classic qualifier from Newmarket, Minnesota, yeah. the amazing so fighter man, Seth Fighter! Get the, get the Brina's five fish here today at 22 pounds even. A lifelong dream could come true here if he is 11 pounds, three ounces. 20 pounds, three ounces. 20 pounds, three ounces. With 42 pounds, three ounces. Seth Fighter moves into eighth place and is officially a Bassmaster Elite Series Angler of the Year. few years ago you told us you weren't going anywhere and today you said it is forever fighter for the rest of your life you are the 2021 Bassmaster Elite Series Angler of the Year yeah it's amazing I mean that's a milestone that's a lifelong work for that uh, I mean ever since I was a little kid just every minute fishing to get to this and it, it feels amazing it feels like the way the world's off my shoulders now that it's all over it's been a been a stressful last couple of months. So look, look guys, it's gonna be, um, I don't think I'm gonna make it on paper. I think I'm gonna fall like one spot short. Now, the interesting thing is, we'll talk more about it, this video is not over by the way, is there's some double qualifiers. So the rest of the open season this year, there's some guys that can possibly, we can gain some more spots. And that could be a very big deal. So, I think there's like five or six more opens still available to fish. We'll see what happens, but I feel short, guys. I mean, you, you saw it. But you know, I honestly, I prayed this morning. I got down on my hands and knees and I prayed to God that he would just give me peace today, allow me to fish with a, with a heart, with focus, determination, and he did. Yeah. I, like, I feel fine right now. Like, yesterday, I, 
that was a wreck yesterday. A little spun out. But, but I, yeah, I, remember, like, I, I left yeah, it on the table. I fished, I fished good. I caught a lot of fish. I made some good decisions today. Just lost it. I don't know what's going on. This is just, it's, it's beyond me. It's really beyond me. It's above me. To lose these fish, the amount of fish that I've lost in the last two tournaments. You know, like everybody's gonna say, it's, you know, rod, it's line, it's the hook. It's it's really not. It's just a bad run. It just happens. It does, it and uh, it's painful. I'm gonna have nightmares over these fish. That's that fish today. I don't know how well you got to see it. Legit was a six pounder. You're gonna have a nightmare over that six yeah, pounder. Yeah, I'm gonna never forget that fish. You're gonna think it's a buffalo, like attacking it or something. Yeah. So. Matt, Matt's going to be around the bubble as well. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it, but we're all right there. Canterbury gets to fish tomorrow. He's fishing to win. If he can win, he can pull off a classic berth. So, all right, let's go. Let's pull the boat out. Let's go hang out, do some dinner, go back to the house, talk about it. We still don't have the points total, but it's not looking good. That's what I do now. You know, everybody said when I started fishing the elites, they're like, Cause for, for whatever reason on FL Living, I don't know if it was just more people or whatever, but the weights would always go down at least a pound overall on day two, every tournament. And here the weights go up or at least stay the same. I mean, I caught a bigger bag today than I did yesterday, and I'm literally in the same spot that I was yesterday, so I didn't move up any. I didn't get any points. That's not good. You know, we did all we could do. Champlain's what got me. Take a step back and kind of reevaluate what the heck is going on here. Oh, won't you do this for me, son? Hey, I've had some nail biters, this is a nail biter. So, where are you at? 42nd. Really? If a double qualifier wins this tournament, I'll get in. Where am I? 34th, I think. Because, yeah, I don't think you passed Cox. No. Well, good job, dude. Forty second. I mean, it's not in, but well, that's that's we, look, a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. A lot of things went wrong this year. A lot of things went right. Typical of a tournament. I just can't believe two th two back to back tournaments for me went as bad as they did. Like like literally two of my worst finishes. You were you've been more spun out in the last two events than I've ever seen you in my life. My whole career, I've always fished to win. I always try to find winning opportunity, winning pattern, and I go for it. And I don't always hit it, but I come close to hitting it, and I've won a lot of tournaments. Anytime I've ever tried to fish conservative, ever, in my whole career that I've ever said, I just need to get a check. When you aim for 50th, you finish like in 70th. When you aim for first, you'll finish in first or 30th or 40th. It hasn't hit me yet, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm doing the very best I can eat dinner and enjoy our evening. Mine's your truck six feet higher than mine. Because I have a big boy truck. Mine's a big boy truck. I have a Barbie doll truck. I have a Dylan truck. I have a Dylan truck. Your truck is cute. Alright, so look, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna shut her now. We're gonna shut her now. You said something about Dylan. I'd say nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. See? Our point exactly you hit me right on the nipple. Like, literally. <laughs> Let me sit like this, because I know they're going to... Guys, that is it. So right now, again, just to break it down, Matt is one spot out. I'm two or three spots out. We'll see what happens. He's you never, you never know. You never know what's going to happen with these points. We're just going to keep our fingers crossed. We're going to pray about it. So... The season might be over. We got a 2020 coming. You're not going to want to miss that because I'm going to, I got to do 2020, break down this event, and uh, appreciate all the support, guys. Appreciate all of the support. Matt, bring it in. Bring it in, Matt. Tell him bye. Tell him bye. Tell him bye. See y'all in 2022, baby. Boom!